Alright, time for a cane game. Uh, this is not just going to be your regular cane game. This is going to be the bully game. Because I'm going to show you how you can abuse low, like lower rating junglers by just constantly counter jungling them with his champion. It doesn't have to be just cane. It will work for a lot of champions. But cane is the best one at it. Regardless of the form you pick, it doesn't matter whether you pick red or blue form. I'm going to go blue form here because they're mostly going to be squishies. And the blue form can build a shield reduction thing for set as well, which is kind of destructive for him. So yeah, this is this is going to be a really, really cheesy method, basically, to uh, win with Kane. So, or to win with any champion, really. Any champion that has good clear speed can use this strategy, basically, to, uh, well really hurt the enemy jungler now lower rating games this is going to be like a silver game so it's this this will the same strategy will work for you as well don't worry about it but lower rating games people will pretty much always start both side and they don't do anything about like warding top side or anything of the sort so you're going to basically just be able to do this anyway just start their raptors or their wolves right it doesn't matter what side of the map you are on you can do it on either side and it'll be fine just gonna start their raptors here and then we're just gonna do their top side their entire top side as well by the way like it doesn't matter it doesn't change anything if you're gonna start on their wolves just do their wolves blue grump and you'll be fine just has to be a champion that can do it like there, ha there has to be a champion that has the clear speed to do this track to do this tactic we want to hold the ward though because we want to ward this bush or like this entrance basically to spot if they are gonna show up because you don't need a sweeping trinket to know if it's warded or not. You can base it on either the movements from the enemy laners, or if they don't show up on that ward in any like any way, shape, or form, they're gonna have noticed it because they're gonna have warded against you, which generally isn't even a problem. So if your invade like fails, for example, it doesn't really matter. Like let's say she's taking my bot side now. If she leaves even one camp up on my bot side, I would have won because I would have traded more camps. So. Belveth currently hasn't shown yet. There she is. Beautiful. Now she realizes that her entire top side is gone. Which is just a very big victory right away. So this is a very, very insane cheese tactic. And it will work most of the time. And even if it doesn't work, right? Let, let's say it was warded and they knew. Even if it doesn't work, you will still at least go even. Because let's say they trade your entire bot side for, for their entire top side it will still be even. So you're not going to have lost anything necessarily. Again, Scuttles here, by the way, they're not worth going for because they're worth no experience. It is actually straight up better to just take your own camps and play like that. Because it's worth no experience. So the Scuttle is only worth like 70 gold and like almost no experience. So really all we're looking for here. Gotta swipe this. Now, something to note here as well is, uh, of course, their Raptor camp is going to respawn somewhat soon. She doesn't have flesh on Belva, so... There he goes. Good. And now here, as you can see, his, uh, his Raptor camp just respawned, which means... We can take his raptors again, and his crux should be respawning at a reasonable pace here soon as well. It is quite important that you actually look to go back. Like, normally I would finish my red buff in this situation, right? And then just go back to the play anyway. Let's see if I can flank this guy from behind here. I mean, at least I'm gonna get some orbs, I guess. There's the Belveth. The out of vision. Oh, come on. I misclicked the fucking. Misclicked the situation. Feels Batman. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to go for her ra for her gr crux now. If I was able to sneak past vision, it would have been possible. But I didn't sneak past vision correctly. Because I clicked inside of the Rift Herald pit and it pathed me in the other direction. So I actually became kind of awkward. So yeah, I'm just going to have to deal with that. It's, it is what it is. She's going to get her crux now. I did get her leveled up uh, Raptors though again. I would have been able to snipe sniper crux as well that would have been great but like this is just the early setup for this play right this this kind of get this is gonna get like 30 times worse because you're already creating a lead right now but this is gonna get much much worse because blue cane is absolutely disgusting at continuing this play this type of play style 
this will this will win you most of your games if you do this at least at least reasonably correctly you don't have to do it like perfectly at least reasonably correctly like those three camps even if you do those by themselves it's already going to give you a big big lead so right here we're going to be able to back for the tier and then we can uh, we can afford a dirk as well i think beautiful buy and now we switch to the red trinket as well good note here that this is all gonna respawn so we're gonna go for those camps right now no 28 cs gonna move up get to the grump interesting how that put me on that side of the wall okay and this is basically early game succeeded right like we have the initial cheese has been completed and um well from here on out we can play the rest of this cheese we're already like a good amount of xp up so this is this is already a good start to this right as much as possible you want to continue this so right here my optimal plan would go would be go for her raptors which is actually what i'm going to do we see the bell death on both sides Okay, that is ward. To avoid wards in this bush, by the way, just literally hug this wall and it will not see you. So that is something you can do. They're all having a fight on both sides. Is what it is. I'll be taking this. I'll be taking a red buff when it respawns. You really have to play for the respawns of these these things, though. Like, my team currently is beating their, their side. Um, the, the relevance I've had so far is just that this guy is being down in experience, so it makes it harder for him to fight. But as of, like, for the rest, like, I've got a mid gank off, of course. But currently, we are just punishing the enemy jungler. Just went for that. We can place this right here. Okay, Viger got another kill. Yasuo is getting kind of fed, apparently. And we are on the hunt for more camps. If you can play around these respawn timers of their top side consistently, that will get you very, very far. See if we can go for this. Is I am a if you go for a gank ping a couple times, you always want to make sure you ping enough. Dash behind. Smite there. That's not good, man. Interesting how he got away with that, to be honest. I mean, I still got a lot of orbs out of it, so it's still kind of decent, but... I did not expect him to get away with something like that. That is uh, quite surprising. My Trundle, I guess, doesn't do too much damage. It is what it is. Right, these camps will be respawning. We're creating a very, like, straight-up cycle right now. Like, we look for the respawn timers on their top side marks, and we take those respawn timers every time, basically, to consistently deny her a part of her jungle. This will work against literally any jungler. With literally any jungler, Kane is just a little bit faster because he can go over walls in certain plays. But the same principle stands, right? As long as you can clear the jungle at a reasonable tempo, you will be fine. The Raptors are respawning here, so again... We are going, going to go for those. Elf F is top lane. I see your nightmare. She's going to be here. Open up on her. We know she's going to be here because of the uh, ward that we saw her walk from top side. She doesn't have flash, so this is pretty easy to kill. That's something very important to note, is just whether they have flash or not. In this case, we know this guy runs ignite instead of flash, so... You don't really have to, like, flash after or anything of the sort. If they have used their dashes, they have used their dashes, and they're gonna be pretty useless afterwards. They're gonna have no ways of escaping. And that is just her raptors respawning, knowing where she is, knowing where she rotates to, and then punishing her once again. Right here, we take another another cycle of her topside camps. Okay. Get the 
Crawler's Claw here. I do not want my red form, so we're just gonna run out of base as is. Gonna have to wait and stall for the timer. Doesn't really matter too much whether you like if you have blue form, it's obviously gonna be faster because your E cooldown is gonna be much lower, so you can run across more walls. But we'll be fine here. Belveth is top lane again. Currently, I'm just gonna swipe my bot side jungle real quick. By that time, her top side camps are likely to be respawned once again. Here we, go. So we can probably take her raptors and her crugs again. We're, at uh, we're, we're basically leaving her with a clutter of her jungle to clear with this tactic. The bigger of a lead you get, of course, the easier this becomes because, well you get stronger and stronger versus them, so they can't 1v1 you at all. Bot Scuttle was up there, but if I path towards Bot Scuttle, it's gonna be slightly less efficient if I wanna go for the top side of her jungle. All right, Rift Herald, fair enough. The Rift Herald, like her getting Rift Herald here, actually doesn't do anything for her, and the reason it, that's the case is because it doesn't really give experience or that much so she's gonna be in quite some trouble. Just snipe this real quick. Would she use Herald on top lane here is the question, of course. Yeah, she is, okay, I'm gonna just run top then. That should not kill turret in time, so I think we're gonna be fine here. Ult this guy real quick. Make sure not to get messed up by the uh, by my boy Set right there. Yeah, that was something I had to rotate too because I don't want them to get that top push for free. But right now we know Belveth is a goner. I focused our jungler there by the way because she is just an easier target to kill. Plus, if you kill the jungler, you can basically just do this again for free instead of killing their top lane. Let's say the jungler would live, I would have some type of contest on this on these camps right here, and that's not something I'm looking for, right? Like, I'm looking to, to absolutely cheese the hell out of her. So we're gonna just keep breaking her down, basically. Anytime we can kill her, anytime we can take anything, that's when we go for it. Even if it costs you your own camps a little bit. Good. This is not a problem. that Ooh, I'll clear those ward why not so she is back forced into her bot side jungle keep the timers in mind again basically for top side plays we keep those timers in mind we want to back in 20 seconds when we get our form and that is when things really kick off when you get your form i got it a little bit late this game because i didn't really have any bot lane gank opportunities due to them basically permanently being under turret like I would have liked to potentially like switch to her bot side jungle and do something there, but it's really not a possibility in a game like this. So I'm just gonna do wolves now, and then I'm gonna recall for blue form, and we'll play from there. But that's a three level lead currently, by basically doing the same thing over and over again and really paying attention to her respawn timers on her camps. Now this is gonna respawn, but I have form and I have way too much gold, so it's actually not gonna be worth it in this situation to... Uh, go counter jungle her right now so she can have a rotation if she wants one we're gonna walk up to the turret here and then once you hit the, the close to the turret we hit the form this way you can walk out of base much faster you can basically get to about river with this with walking to turret like that walk over all these walls they're all bot lane okay we are there quite fast though Jesus, you are strong. Oh my god, Set is strong. Set is at least dead. I'll take it. Jesus, I do not disrespect Set. I have learned my lesson. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of damage. The level up real quick. Some poke in there. 
I mean, I could have tried to smite steal that, and maybe I should have, but... I don't know, it's a little scary. I saw him recalling in a bad spot, so that's easy to clean up right there. We're gonna try to hunt here, look for vision. See a Belveth. Oh my god, damage! <laughs> into the wall, to the side. Into the wall there to get myself a, sl a small healing there. I uh, may have heavily underestimated Belveth damage output, potentially. Good. Oh, I see champion right there. Do this. Push this in. All right, we know another big fact right here. This guy has been punished. He is dead. So you know what that means. Instead of going for any of my own camps right now, we are prioritizing hers and denying her even more. It's it's important that you do this, prioritizing their camps. Because this way, it doesn't really matter if your camps are up. If you're taking theirs and they can't take anything, that's better than you taking yours and theirs and prioritizing that, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. She ignited me. I'm pretty sure she blue smited me as well, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm actually going to ult out of this one. good just land the w ult out of the cage so i'm not in a very terrible spot and play from there good but you can see how much damage this does to an enemy jungler like my kill participation doesn't even matter like just completely negating how much i did for like my team lanes wise how well they did just the fact that you repeat do this to somebody as Kane, starting from the beginning, like starting with that initial clear, that's the biggest cheese out of all of them, because that's what it get, it's what's going to give you that initial lead. But continuing that consistently, like consistently continuing that on those camps and getting the respawn timers of those camps every time, is what really just destroys somebody. And this will work for like most low elos because most people don't actually ward initially. So as you saw there, there was no type of vision being placed from that guy at all so right from the start i was already in a really really insane position to just push that through and then all you have to do is respect the respawn timers and be there for those respawns over and over again we see the red respawn here so again i shall mark first Some poke, I suppose. And now this is the point in the game where you can really take this to the next level, and that's just like rotate through her through her camps. I will, I guess, suppose go for this move down here. I'll just dodge that with the ult. I also got exhausted, so. Actually, can't continue that fight. The exhaust really wrecked me on that one, which was not good. I can probably still get him. Uh, that's very risky. I was way too low on HP with a Jin ult there. I just don't do anything. It's just not a great situation. If I would have killed the Senna faster, that would have been really ideal. Because then I could have just completely punished him. What are you doing? Alright. Do not care about her blue buff, really. I actually don't. Ooh. There he goes. Good. And then here again. Oh, this guy may be dead here. Yep. The Vigar one shot. This is down. That's fine. This is up though, so here we are. Come on, camps. Don't be a don't be dickhead. Good. 
Write that down. I'm just gonna back. I think I have enough. Yeah, I do. Here, just mark. Oh. Okay. That is a flash. Okay, that's another flash. Like, what the hell? Two flashes down, Senna flash down, Jin flash down. I do have to back here though, because I have way too much gold. I need to invest in my, or get my um, Muramana right now. 120 CS lead, just playing off of those respawn timers. From the start, like that that's the most essential part. Like you can really only like um, heavily do this, I guess is the right word, if you do it from the start, because that initially creates the lead. If I don't initially get that lead, it's a little bit more on the risky side because you're going to be fighting someone on a more equal footing. Whereas if you get that initial level lead going, like a, a one level lead from the start is pretty big. If you can keep that level lead going, that is the ideal thing. Again here, you see me walk past all of my own camps to take hers. And this is the crucial part about this. You always prioritize their camps as much as possible. Every single one of their camps is worth more than your camps. So you want to do this as much as possible and on repeat. Hit the turret if you want to walk through the river, because otherwise you don't get enough distance. There. Walk across the box here. I'll just stall some time, I guess. Holy moly, that positioning. Okay. Uh, she really got me with that one. I was initially planning to just dash out this way, right? And just go massive distance this way. But because she actually queued up, it pushed me into the wall instead of out this way. So I actually just straight up died. I also got exhausted again, which doesn't help. But yeah. She actually got me unintentionally, I think. I mean, if she didn't intentionally, fair play. But yeah, I got I got got. I wanted to just dash out this way and I would have been fine if I could have gotten my full range dash this way I could just queue that way as well and they would not have caught up to me But because I actually dashed into the wall because she dashed upwards. I just couldn't go anywhere I just I just instantly became stuck um. A lucky stab in the dark. Oh, yeah, this is the one I was planning to do I buy. We want to go for the shield reduction for the set mostly it's very, very good there. My team can take those camps right now, I, I think. I'm just quickly gonna walk past Red since I'm here already. So just snipe this out real quick and then we move towards uh, the next play. Because if you have a buff camp, it's a little bit different. If I was like doing my, my camps right there, like a, a Raptor camp or a Crux or something, that would be not worth it. But because it's like a red buff, it's actually pretty worth just doing that. My team is looking to end here, it seems. Good. But yeah, there it is. This is the result of what essentially is pretty heavy bullying, but, you know. Uh, an early cheese into the continuation of that specific cheese is a 125 CS lead. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button below. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.